just going to take a video here this is a site where I have been coming for many 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 years but I haven't come for quite some time now and uh, okay so I'm just going to show you this board you will see it in reverse but it doesn't matter so this is called um, Oasi Bosco della Panfilia of course um, oasis and woodland basically um, in Italian this would be called Bosco Planiziale which specifically I'm not quite sure how that would be translated into English but basically it's a type of low-lying forest a low-lying biotope um, it's quite an important for this reason it's quite an important relic wood by relic meaning that once upon a time because we're talking several hundreds of years ago the whole of the Po Valley Plains which in Italian is called Pianura Padana would have been a massive forest pretty much like you see here this sort of thing but obviously over the centuries the whole place has been cleared mostly for agricultural purposes but also because many areas needed to be drained needed to be drained because it was malarious so this is the reason why this location is particularly important and now I just noticed we have a very interesting visitor I'm not quite sure a woman dressed like a a bat maybe <laughs> anyway there you go it threw me a little bit of balance but I was saying that this is a very important biotope and uh, I'm gonna show it from here and then I'm gonna take a, a bit more of a video as I walk into the reserve but basically it is a relic piece of woodland very close to here we have the river Reno it's called Reno it's like the boundary the natural boundary well administrative boundary between the two provinces Bologna over to that side Ferrara over to this side it's Ferrara here and uh, so this is a very important biotope because it's not just a piece of relic woodland Planiziale by the way in Italian just means by a river so low-lying forest riverside kind of habitat but anyway the other important feature is that this place gets flooded whenever the Reno river which is over to this side you cannot see it from this location but I will film it later on but basically it's there some way behind me whenever it floods whenever there's like heavy rains and the river becomes swollen then it is likely to invade this area and the whole area becomes flooded and actually I remember coming here on occasions in which it could be possible to walk maybe 10 minutes from here but then it would get to a spot in which it would be completely muddy and even flooded so you could not carry on so um, again something not so frequently found especially not in this region not in Emilia Romagna so these are all reasons why this is an important location and then of course there's more there's the flora there's the fauna and there's all the mushrooms there's so many types of mushrooms that you could find here including which I guess I'm no expert I confess I'm not an expert on mushrooms but um, so probably there's no relation between the two but this area is also quite famous for the white truffles and uh, again it's something quite unusual for a woodland area well sort of low-lying woodland area and there's even a, um, a fair in the in the town in the village of 
Sant'Agostino, which is close to here. Every year in September they make a truffle fair. So there you go. Come to the area, come here, come to see this place. Uh, if you come in September and you like truffles, I hate truffle, but if you like it, yeah, you can come and also enjoy the fair. So I will be taking more videos, maybe not with me, but just showing the location as I go down into the reserve. And then the most interesting bit is where we get by the river further down. Thank you for watching.